Welcome to the lesson on normal heart physiology for ACLS. In this video, we'll discuss the normal electrical pathways of the heart. Understanding the normal electrical function of the heart helps understand the abnormal functions. When blood enters the atria of the heart, an electrical impulse that is sent from the SA node conducts through the atria, resulting in atrial contraction, which registers as the P wave on an electrocardiogram or ECG strip. This impulse then travels to the AV node, which in turn conducts the electrical impulse through the bundle of his, bundle branches, and the Purkinje fibers of the ventricles, causing ventricular contraction. The time between the start of the atrial contraction and the start of ventricular contraction registers as the PR interval on an ECG strip. The ventricular contraction registers as the QRS complex. Following ventricular contraction, the ventricles rest and repolarize which registers as the T wave. The atria also repolarize, but this coincides with the QRS complex. Therefore, it cannot be observed on the ECG strip. P wave, QRS complex, and the T wave together at proper intervals are indicative of normal sinus rhythm, or NSR. Abnormalities that are in the conduction system can cause delays in the transmission of the electrical impulse and are dedicated on the ECG. These deviations from normal conduction can result in dysrhythmias such as heart blocks, pauses, tachycardias, and bradycardias, blocks, and dropped beats. This concludes our lesson on normal heart physiology for ACLS. Next, we'll review the ACLS survey.